Hey, what's up? It's Zach, and today we are in Adobe Illustrator again, and I'm going to be showing you um, kind of some things you can do with the one tool. Not necessarily um, a specific tutorial or specifically something we're going to be doing. Uh, more just explain a few uh, things you can do with it. So, real quick, um, the blend tool is just going to put together um, two objects. It's all it does is it just literally blends them, and Illustrator is pretty good at it. Um, it does its best there's a couple things it messes up on and they but you can kind of avoid uh, those things by just knowing that they're there um control alt b and then command control b on mac uh is the shortcut for that but it, everything else is going to be in the um uh under object blend blend options is what we're going to start in and uh i use specified step um these are probably useful I just like this is the fastest for me to think about because um, I just sit here and do this and then do that while I'm shade like when I'm working on a piece and then that's how you know so uh, yeah let's just do this first of all you can like I said you can do a bunch of things with it uh, as far as like just blending two objects you can blend two squares you can blend a square to a circle all that stuff I don't use that very much so I'm not going to talk about that I'm going to sh show more of this uh, this is like you can already see how cross hatching this would be useful. What else? The the drawback on this is because right now we have strokes, and that's cool because you can sit here and change these um, uh, thicknesses. Great. The only problem is if you do add uh, stroke profiles, it's not gonna work. It uh, it's not gonna work if they are different weights. If they're all the same weight, it's fine. Let me show you. If if I go here, whoops, let's get rid of again. Now let's put a uh, this. Alright, these are the same thing, and it will work. This this is ideal. The problem is when it goes here, and one of them's too big. See, these end up being squares in here, and it's unfortunate but uh so if you do use uh stroke profiles that's one of the things that actually made me quit using stroke profiles was because when i went to use the blend tool it didn't work as well um so i expand these um that's i have it on my keyboard but it's expand and expand appearance and um pretty much what that does is it just makes objects out of the fills uh, most i figure most people know that but just in case and when we do blend it you'll see it works which is dope but even cooler when you go in here you can edit this these individual ones and like see look at that like you can change the like i don't know you can put like ripples in clothing and stuff so easy by just like taking this and then putting so uh like putting it down and then just manipulating everything and then and especially if you have multiple like i just did two but if you have multiple segments in there you can really start to build like architecture like a frame of you know clothing or a frame like a frame around something i don't know you could use it for anything the only uh other big thing that i use a lot is opacity let's go back uh and that is fine i like Uh, my brain just went to zero. Yeah, that doesn't work. Um, it's gonna have to be objects. So no, no this. Whoops. Cool. And right now, it's uh, the specified steps is up really high or whatever. But um, you can already see how it's looks great. Uh, blend. I wish there was a way you could bind it, like bind blend options. But I'm not sure. Like pull this up, but I'm not sure if there is. Um, let me know if there is. Uh, I've been looking, but couldn't find it. Uh, what? Oh, I don't have it selected. Forehead. Um, okay. See? Looks great. Um, and you can go all the way down to zero. Uh, and your last one won't be visible. It's super cool. Um, and you can curve these. These are still all editable. Um, this re really helps. You can already see how it's getting like weird. And 
it's starting to that's some crazy effects for just like I three clicks and you could have that um, yeah I'll probably just stop it on that um, let me know uh, what else you want to know yeah don't forget to uh, like whatever else you're supposed to do uh, thanks